first thing we will need to do is create an instance to hold side unify controller on the nav pane select compute instances and then select create instance file input the required making sure that the ubuntu image is selected as our os image wanting to know on the oracle free tier plan you get given four cpus and 24 gigabyte ram you may decide to use them on all on one vm or on multiple vms the choice is yours on the shape we're gonna select the a1 flex because that's within the free tier plan you may choose to use another shape that may come out at cost primary reenic make sure your subnet has public access if not another subnet will need to be selected or created otherwise a public IP address will not be assigned to your VM. Download the generated public and private key by accessing the VM via SSH. Now we're ready to create our VM. Select create and we'll wait for it to be provisioned. Access the VM via SSH using the keys downloaded earlier. The SSH port by default is open on Oracle Cloud. Root access is required for the installation. All command script used within this video is listed within the description. Install the CA certificate package using the command listed within the video. The Unify installation script does have multiple options for configuration purposes. If you wish to use these options, I've placed a URL within the video description. Install the latest Unify version using the command listed within the video. The script was created by Glenn R, so credit to him. The choice is yours if you want to keep the script on your VM uh, after the installation is complete, but I've selected no. Do you want to update your system? I would recommend yes, but the choice is yours. The Unify controller is now installed on your Oracle Cloud instance. If you want to be sure that the service is running, you just need to input the command that's been listed on the video. Time of uploading this video, Oracle's Ubuntu image uses IP table as opposed to UFW. So input the command that's listed within the VM to disable the firewall. Open the port 8443 on the Oracle Cloud portal. Access the Unify controller via the browser using the public IP address. You can now either configure or restore your Unify site. The setup is now complete. You now have a unified controller hosted on Oracle Cloud.